So, day one of Wales Weekend Special. This is my magical camp for the first night. In the Brum Brum car. And, uh... Let's turn the light on. Jumper hanging up, protecting the window. Coat, uh, jumper outside. My pillow. Coat, jumper. Back window. Oh. Sleeping bag. And it's nice and toasty at the minute. Real nice and toasty. I don't want to get up. But here goes. We've got some gold to go find. Two. So here we are, made it over to Wales for the cheeky weekender. You got Krillix, our prospector. Show me a nice little spot. What a cracking river this is. It looks absolutely beautiful. Show me gold. It really does. So uh, gonna start the day, then uh, jump in the dry suit, get some of those crevices cleaned out. Some of those, look at those cracks. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So I've got upstream. I found, chose my little spot that I'm working. There's a nice big crevice along here. Real tight compact gravels. So yeah, I'll give that a clean out and I'll get back to you. So I spent ages cleaning out this crack in this uh, bedrock. Nothing, not even a speck. Um, so I'm going to give up on it. It's uh, getting a bit chilly over there on this side. So I'm going to head to the other side of the river. Over there, there's a load of bedrock there, loads of cracks and crevices. Um, I'm going to give that a go. So fingers crossed to find something nice. Lovely bit of Welsh gold. Beautiful. Nice little piece out there. So what I've started doing, I've come over to the other side of the river. Wasn't finding much over there. And as you just digging out in between these bedrock cracks, started finding bits of lead. I thought, well, you know what? There's gotta be gold there too. Guess what? There was. There was one happy bunny. The acrylics. <laughs> Yeah, boy. He's got a nice, good, good old going on down here. He's cleaned it out that well. You can eat your dinner on that, mate. Christ. Got no skin left on my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you forgot your gloves, didn't you? Yeah. That's Melt. Cool. Note to self: always wear gloves. Always wear gloves. So this location has been a bit of a weird location. That you don't find much gold in the gravels. It's all in the tightly packed cracks and crevices of the bedrock. So when you're down in the water here, I've been sniping around. And uh, it's all big boulders. You, you see, you've got to shift them out of the way, get down to the bedrock at the bottom there, and just scrape out all the cracks. No way to shift them to, because there's just that many of them. Um, but yeah, we've done all right. We've had a few little flakes, a few nice little specks. You know, we've probably got about another hour or so before we uh, call it a day. So. Uh, I'm gonna carry on. See you in a bit. Yep. So that's it, end of day. And then if you get the hard rubber ones, they're too bastard for walking miles. Really. Always leave it how you found it. I, I need to get some designer to develop some yeah. canoe railing. <laughs> Here we go, day two. What a beautiful day it is. Lovely view. 
So this river has been renowned for fine gold. The big bedrock poking out the side here. Huge boulder, gravel patch. Moving all these big rocks out of the way. Water flows down here. Um, it's not normally this low apparently. But I've got a nice area here I can work and clear. Should be able to get my sluice running up on that. But mate, what a day. Gutted to bring number sniping gear. The, the river is just like perfect for it. Absolutely perfect for it. But anyway, let's get set. Something I just spotted, why I stopped doing that bucket through the sluice, is over here, there's a boil hole. Just the outside of this bedrock. So I'm gonna get in there and clean that out too. First back. See him just set just there. A little bit of gold. Yeah boy. So me and J-Dog are going to head upstream. Shevzy there. The little gold monster he is. Lovely little piece of gold he's had. Well, uh, I'll get him to show you later. He's a little bit shy. He only gets it around when people aren't looking. But the sun's starting to come over now. Fingers crossed it starts warming up a little bit. Let's go for a wonder up. It's like boulder galore down here. When you drop your classifier in the river, you run down to chase it. It's coming. Surely but slowly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the phone down though because I can't do it one handed. Before it falls off the waterfall. Yeah. Saved it. Yeah, we. Smooth is running nice. We yeah, are prospecting, gas bagging as usual. Always talking. So, we wasn't having much luck further upstream, so we've decided to go downstream, following the tail of the R prospector. Fingers crossed, it becomes a little bit more productive. But Matty definitely had a nice piece. Beautiful bit of gold. Some lovely scenery here. Amazing river. Definitely a sniping river though. Next time I come, bring him a wetsuit. Jumping in there. I think I've lost Chevzy. In the trees. Here he comes. I can see him, he's coming. He's coming. Hello. Hello. Hello, Robert. Toodle pip. So come on, J Dog, what's going on? Look at that crevice there. I think someone's beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> they left you a bullet, though, mate. They left you a bullet. So, yeah, J Dog's working a crevice down there, and uh, he's not having much luck, but he's not giving up yet. That's one thing with the R Prospector, he doesn't give up easy. <laughs> Normally we'd like a beaten crevice, but um... It's my ol' I start punching down there. Couple of nice little pieces. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to. Shevzy's just been sleeping on the uh, bank all I'm afternoon. Done. After my, uh, after my mini nugget. Retired. <laughs> he retired after his mini nugget, that's it. He made enough money from that mini nugget, he's now took early retirement. So Shevzy, mate, what's just happened? Um, we've just got to go home. I thought I'd take one more pan. I've just found four bits in one pan. Just, just typical, mate. So, uh, just that as one, it always does. Just that one more pan. One more pan. So, one more pan's turned into two more pans. Which is going to turn to a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all very tired, so... But gold keeps us going. 
And then the art prospector over there, he's decided to find some clay. Wait, wait. He left all the gold in the clay, then he was going to leave the clay. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Concentration. Part of me hopes you don't find that. I'm trying. The other part of me hopes you find something. Yeah. I probably lost that bit that was in there. No, it's there. There it is. It's a nice little piece too, mate. It's all right, not just for 10 pumps or again. It's hard to see what's actually down there because it's so murky, but it's why you never do one more pan. I know. <laughs> the sad story of a gold powder. And there we go. Probably the last pan. Yeah, that's good one. So that's it for this weekend's adventure. What a beautiful weekend it's been. It's gone way too quick though. Way too quick. So hope you guys enjoy. So for me, I'll see you later. So we are back at home, and that's it for day two. Focus isn't going very well on the phone today. There we go. And there we go, there we have it. The gold from day one. It was quite a hard area to work. So, overall, it was a good weekend. Definitely a busy weekend. Got back up past one this morning. Um, kids had school. We drove up on Friday night. Um, so not much sleep on Friday night, went out panning for the day on Saturday, um, done a bit of sniping down in the river, um, and then Sunday went to a different location, um, just took normal panning gear with us. Um, but as I say, it's first time being to these two locations and to be fair, considering it's like complete new locations we've ever been to, we found gold. Um, yeah, prospect is a fantastic guy. Uh, definitely well worth uh, checking him out on uh, YouTube. He's got his own little channel. Um, he gets out and about and he goes on some adventures. I mean, some of the places that he goes and sees is unbelievable. Um, but yes, yeah, so overall, it was a good weekend. Definitely can't wait to go back. Um, next time we go back, we know what we're looking for. We know where we're going. So it will be a better, more of a successful trip. But can't grumble for that. Matt found a really nice piece of gold. Um, I've asked him to send me the photo of it over later on. And hopefully he'll send that through to me this evening. And I should be able to attach that into the clips too. But it was a beautiful piece. Anyway, so from the English Prospector. Let's go!